So this question says a wire with a length of 106 inches is cut into two parts. So I'm going to just draw this wire here. Say that that is 106 inches. And then I'm going to break that into two parts. Right? I don't know the proportionality of those two parts, but that's perfectly fine for now. One part has a length of X inches and the other part has a length of Y inches. So I'm going to call this one X and call this one Y. The value of X is six more than four times the value of Y. All right, so um, even though my drawing doesn't fit that, I can still translate that sentence to mean X is six more than. So X is always means equals. Six more than means that I'm adding six to something else. Four times the value of Y, so that becomes four Y. So X equals four Y plus six. What is the value of X? All right, well, if I know that X is really, and I'll use a different color, this X piece here is really four Y plus six, then I, that would tell me that this four Y plus six piece plus this piece that has a value of Y still has to equal the total, which was 106. So there's my equation. Four Y plus six, which represents one piece, the X piece specifically, plus y, which represents the second piece that this wire was cut into, equals the total length of the wire, which is 106. Combining like terms, 4y plus y, that is 5y plus 6 equals 106. I would then subtract 6 from both sides, leaving me with 5y equals 100. I divide by 5, and y is equal to 20. The question wants to know the value of x, however. So if y is 20, I know that x is equal to 4y plus 6. Remember, we have that there. So this would be 4 times 20 plus 6. 4 times 20 is 80. 80 plus 6 is 86. So our answer here is choice D. Obviously, we could have also, instead of doing this, just said, well, if the whole thing is 106, and we know that one piece is 20, just... 106 minus 20 is 86. So that's another way to get to our answer as well.